what is good guys it's ray j back with another video and this is going to be a very important video about cpi and what the market's about to do because i see a very very big trap forming in the markets i'm going to expose what the trap is in this video talk about tesla spine all these different tickers before i do anything like this let me just mention a couple of things firstly i am not a financial planner so take nothing i say as financial advice and also if you guys can please check out the mumu link which is down below and in the description if you sign up for Mumu and deposit $100, you're guaranteed five free stocks. If you put in $1,000, you're guaranteed up to 15 free stocks. Anyways, guys, let's talk about something very, very serious. So in my previous video, I said the market is most likely going to bounce after CPI comes out. If you look at where SPY is right now, SPY just reached uh, 414, I'm sorry, 514.5. We're at 514.5. Tesla is now pumping to about 180 a share as predicted right qqq is up where are we we we're just under 442 as predicted nvidia is pumping i said it could get very close to that 900 area if we break past 876 uh, we're very close to that resistance right now but we are bouncing on nvidia microsoft is bouncing the whole market is essentially bouncing right now but i believe that this is a trap i'm going to explain why so in my previous video, I did anticipate the market was going to get a push to the upside, right? And I thought maybe it's because CPI is going to be decent. But when the CPI numbers came out, they just came out a couple of minutes ago. They're actually a little bit hot, a little bit on the hotter end of the ranges of the forecasts. So CPI year over year was 3.2%. That is actually on the hotter end of the forecast. Not too bad. Uh, but month over month, CPI for all items was 0.4% a little bit on the hotter end of the consensus core cpi was 3.8 percent barely a difference from last month that's actually on the hotter end of the forecast but core cpi was a little hotter than expected month over month at 0.4 percent so cpi was decent overall but it's a little bit on the hotter end of what the forecasts were and core cpi month over month was a little hotter than expected so it was technically aligned with the expectations but just a little bit on the hotter end and as a result of that, the market is pumping. You know, SPY came just under 515. That's awesome. We also got a nice breakout, very, very beautiful breakout from this falling wedge. But here is my warning I want you guys to heed. So when you look at the chart right here, there's actually a slight increase in CPI compared to the previous month. Uh, but for all items without food and energy on core, it came down a bit, which is a good sign. But I want you all to be careful, especially when looking at these different sectors. I'll talk more about the sectors in a later video. Uh, I just wanted to say that I think the market's going to top soon. And I think that they're pumping it because they're going to get ready for this thing to turn. So we're going to be watching to see where the SPY and where does the market end up forming a top. And I believe it could happen either intraday or by tomorrow. A top is going to likely form and this thing is going to turn. It could even be a lower high relative to this high. So I'll be watching for that very carefully. Uh, what's hitting the news right now is the fact that the S&P 500 and NASDAQ, they continue to fall Monday as the rally is doing this and that. But then once CPI came out, big push ended up continuing. We just got CPI numbers, of course. I, wonder, I, I already, excuse me, went over all these earnings. So I'm not really seeing anything new on the news. Uh, but for now, I just want to say, here's what I think is going to happen. So SPY... Uh, as we predicted, this thing would pop a little bit. It would push upwards. And we got that push right now. But they're pushing it, I believe, because they're getting ready for a move to the downside. Now, when we open, we could push a little higher. We're going to be watching this 515 resistance. We already rejected, kind of, we already formed a top kind of close to that. We could try to retest this 515 area. Um, and, and if we try to break past this, it could go a little higher. It's always a possibility. Uh, but I'm going to be watching 516.5 is the next critical resistance if we do get above this. But either way, I do believe what's happening is we're kind of pushing and we're going to form a top soon. At some level around here, will it be 514? Is the top going to be 515? We just touched 515 or came just below that. Is it going to be 516.5? I'm not 100% sure where the top is going to be because CPI can be very tricky sometimes. But I want to warn you, what's going to happen is we're going to top soon somewhere at one of these levels then the market's going to turn back down and we're going to see spy return to 510 very very soon it's going to happen it could, everything could just happen today and spy is going to start dumping okay that's what i believe is going to happen we could push a little bit more 
I just have to figure out where the top is going to be. I'm going to be watching it intraday. And then it's going to turn. Maybe today, maybe by tomorrow. And you have to be prepared for this. It's a very, very dangerous trap that they're setting for us. Okay? And the QQQ is the same thing. QQQ is pumping as predicted. Nice inverse central like structure. Could go a little higher. We could actually even reach 442 maybe. But somewhere, it's going to form a top. Is it going to be 441, 442, 443.5? Somewhere here, there's going to be a top forming. It could keep pumping a little bit more. It still could. It could reach 442. Maybe it goes up to 444. But a top is going to form. And I think it might be a lower high relative to this high up here. So it pushes a bit. Then eventually, it's going to make its way right back down. And it's going to head back down to 434 eventually. But I'm not saying it's going to come from here. It could push a little bit more. But it's going to form a top. I want to give you guys that, that warning as soon as possible. I think Tesla is going to follow the trend. Uh, looking at Tesla, it's, it kind of popped. It's coming back down a little bit. We could attempt to push higher. We could actually try to retest 180, maybe go a little higher from there. Because we could kind of draw like a trend line. Here's our resistance levels. Uh, you know, we could draw something out like this where it just pushes a little bit more. But ultimately, I do believe... At this 180 zone, somewhere very close to this low 180 area, uh, 182 to 180, it might re-grab liquidity and make its way right back down with the overall market. I think Tesla could be returning to these lower targets down here. And I, I think that it could actually fall all the way back down to like 174, if not 172. So you want to be very careful on Tesla. For Apple stock, Apple, I'm, I'm seeing something very similar. Apple has attempted to break out. So we have this support on Apple. We also broke past this resistance. I'm going to change the color of this so it's easy for me to color code these. Uh, but look at the blue trend line. You guys can see we kind of rejected off this many, many times. Right? This time we broke past the blue trend line. We broke past it. And now we're trying to hold up. Apple has this new support now. This this yellow line right here. We're going to see how well it holds here. If Apple loses 172.5, we're going to be heading back down to 170.9. If we hold this, we could bounce and outperform the market. So watch this support at 172.5. We'll see if Apple holds it. There is a risk, though, of Apple kind of popping and coming back down to 170.9. So be very, very careful. There is a risk of downside. How about for NVIDIA? Just like the market, I think it could attempt to push a little higher. It could attempt to push a little higher. But I, I told you all yesterday, I'm not as confident on NVIDIA. Uh, it could retest 885 or so. Could we get one more bigger push to from between one uh, uh, 885 to about 900? Could we push one more time? Sure, it could. But I think NVIDIA is going to turn back down. It might push at first and then come back down. So be very careful with these moves. Uh, so we'll see how high this goes if it reaches 880 or so. And we'll see what happens after that. With that being said, guys... I'm here to kind of like warn you guys. I think it's very important that I do this because the CPI numbers are not the greatest. Okay. They're not the greatest. Not what we, uh, they could have been better. They weren't below expectations. They were at them on the hotter end. So I think we're going to be forming a top soon. I want you guys to watch for that carefully. I just want to give you guys a warning as soon as possible about the top that's forming in this market. All right. So thank you for listening. Have a great day, guys. Get ready for the markets to open very soon. I'll see you guys very soon on the next one. Thank you and peace out.